Okay, so this is what you get with a set of Testo Smart Probes. It's quite a nice case. Quite nice and spongy. When you open it up, you've got clamps and a screw-on probe. Very simply, on one side, batteries, somebody was asking about what you have in here. Quite nicely unscrews. Pulls out a little cartridge and there's your batteries. Just slide straight in. Three AAs. There are little tag handles that you can put into here but they're a bit of a pain in the butt. Single button function. Light comes on. It's not paired with my iPhone at the moment. If it doesn't actually see something after a while It'll shut itself down so it doesn't waste the batteries. So that's one of the probes. Each one has an individual number. So your application will actually identify which is high side, which is low side. In your kit, you have two bits. A clamp, monitor. Again, Wi-Fi, which will measure temperature. All of this is a, a rubbery feeling. This is the battery compartment. You can see, it just slides down. And if you've got decent fingernails, pulls out two AAs in that. Again, everything on here feels solid. These are the original batteries. We've used these pretty much on a daily basis. I've never heard of them. They're not Duracells and they've lasted us for about three months. All this, as you can see, is quite nice and solid. It's not rubbish. So that just fits in there nicely, no screws to undo, nothing fiddly to mess around with when you're in a hurry. Clamp and probe underneath there. Um, to be fair, depends on what size pipe work you're working on. Um, I've got very thin wrists, but can't quite get it around my wrist. So small pipes as well, could be a bit of an issue, could be a bit floppy on there, but we haven't had a problem with them yet. So in your kit, you have basically that. And as you can see, the other one's not been put into here yet. And this is another clamp. Again, individually labeled, individual number, 401 on the back of that one, 400 on the back of that one. So you can identify it on your app. They also provide you with some little stickers so that you can put high side and low side or blue dots on them which actually is really quite useful once you've identified what one's what um, it's quite nice to be able to just pull them out and stick them straight on and not have to change the app around in the settings these little handles obviously that go on to it not really much use to be perfectly honest might be if you're working off a ladder and you want to sling them around your arm or something like that but uh, not greatly needed. So that's the basic tool. The basic tools that come with it. It's nicely knurled. Uh, as you can see inside there, depressor. Everything is quite nice and tight. Um, it feels good in your hand. Again, these are rubbery surfaces. Um, they don't feel cheap. They don't feel rubbish. The packet comes in nice and spongy. I'm going to take a lot of shock in that. Hidden underneath that one was another set of batteries that you plug up so that's what you get what does it do pretty much everything a set of gauges will do um, we've made a few slight modifications to how we use this kit and what we've done is to dig out a couple of spare parts which are these and very simply on the end of that quick release coupler and we can apply that to the system on this end and obviously this onto the depressor here and lo and behold if we need to we can put our gauges onto there or we can put our cylinder onto there and charge from it whilst using the app 
Alternatively, with this, if we can't get that in because the system restricts it, pipe works in the way, casing's in the way, we can just very simply put it on the end of a hose. So that little T piece doesn't come as part of the kit, it's something that we've adapted to it, which is really flipping handy. So, yeah, that's quite useful. So that's basically what you get in it. Um, not really much more to show on that, I don't think. Um, they're quite robust. Clamps have got quite a powerful spring in them. Um, as I say, everything's nicely made. It's, it's made not to be fiddly. Somebody's put a thought in this. It actually looks like it was designed by an engineer. It actually looks like somebody knew what they were doing. How it compares with other makes, other brands, I don't know. These are the only ones that we've tried and used. Um, I'd love to be able to compare them, um, but I'm quite happy with what we've got here. The rest of it is on the app. So the other bits and pieces, you'll need to download the app and have a look at the app. To be fair, the app doesn't really do much unless you've got these connected to it, so you can't really see its full potential. Um, even on the Testo's website, it doesn't really give you much of an explanation of, of what they can do and how you can use them. What we have found is that these are very sensitive if you set them at the right resolution and if you set them to PSI. Um, you can literally see um, the influence of cool air blowing across a condenser if you're on a pressure test. Uh, you can also see if you're on pressure test and you've got a leak, you can physically see the peaks and troughs on a graph as it bubbles away. Now it takes a little bit of time to work out what's going on with these graphs. Some people will disregard it, but if you take the time to really go, okay, I've got a cold draft coming across my condenser and I can see it's the spike and trough there, or you can look at a spike and a trough and go, that's quite regular, and I'm dropping in pressure, you can see it. These react in tenths of a degree PSI, so they're very sensitive. Um, the gauges we use aren't testos, they're master calls, and they only respond in a whole PSI being dropped. So with these, you can see a very quick pressure drop, and you can see a very quick reaction. It's also quite interesting to put these up against your gauges and see which are the more accurate because we have different readings to these as to our gauges. So obviously the different sensors that they're using, um, different types of pieces of equipment calibrated in a slightly different way. They're not that far apart, to be fair. Um, and it could just be that these are on a higher resolution. So that's what you get. A fairly nice little case. Um, we've cheated, we've put these into a, a Stanley cheap 10 quid tool bag, I think it's 10 quid from B&Q, just because that's actually quite nice and robust and I don't want it getting covered in oil. It's a clothy type finish and it, it will soak up fridge oil or water or any other crap that you might lay it down into. So we just got a little Stanley bag to stick it all into and there it is. So that's your Testo's kit. That's what you get for your 149 quid. Hugely impressed with it.